Welcome to this episode of Accounting for Small Business with business accountant Georgie Klein. As we work down our list of direct expenses, one of the most important direct expenses to consider is if you need help and assistance in providing the product. And that help should it come as an employee versus a contract worker, and it's a major decision. And with that making that decision, it's how you're going to proceed with your company. The IRS has provided numerous articles, forms, and etc. in order to help you with that decision. So go to, if you have any questions, www.irs.gov and that will help you with that decision. But there's three items that are very important that is key that I have read every place in making this decision. And that's behavior control, financial control, and the relationship with that person or your person you're going to work for. So this first session is if you're an employer and a small business owner, are you going to hire employees? Or if you're somebody looking for a job, are you going to work as an employee? Behavior control. Now behavior control, as we work down here, does that person you're working for have total control of your day? That is how you do the work, how you produce the work, when and where it's going to be done and they have control of that day. Financial control. The person that you're going to work for, or you as a small business owner, you are financially responsible for everything that goes on. You will provide the services, you will provide supplies, you will provide the tools and the know-how to get the business going. So you're in financial control. Relationship. As an employer or small business owner, you may have a contract with that person that's working for you, but that contract is also going to lay out the benefits. And as you will provide benefits of paying the taxes for the person, possibly insurance and a pension. So that relationship is laid out that way. When you hire that person to come on to you, that employee provides you with a W-4. The W-4 will describe your work and that will describe your exemptions and how many dependents you're going to declare so how much tax is going to be taken out of your paycheck. You have provided a paycheck and the taxes will be taken out. The employer is, or small business owner then is responsible for paying the taxes for you. Also they'll be pay, responsible for paying half your social security and Medicare. They are also responsible for unemployment insurance and workman's comp. At the end of the year, as an employee, you'll be provided with a W-2. That W-2 will be used to prepare your taxes. As a small business owner, you must be very, very aware of the behavior control. There's a fine line here between the behavior control of an employee and an independent contractor. If you cross that line and hire contractors instead of by employees, you may have some financial fees. So as you go forward, just please remember behavior control, financial control, and the relationship between the two of you. As I repeated before, there's plenty of information on the IRS website to make the determination if somebody is an employee or a contractor. Thank you for listening to me today. And as always, please visit me on Facebook, my LinkedIn, and my website. Thank you for watching this episode of Accounting for Small Business with Georgie Klein. For more great information, visit her website at bizbygeorgie.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Columbus Biz TV Shows.